<laughs> that is quick. That is really, really quick. Hey guys, welcome to Supercars of London. Today I am down at Watford Audi. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you would have seen that I posted the banana yellow Audi R8 V10 Plus that Audi Watford have just taken delivery of. All of the UK dealerships now have their first demo on the R8 V10 Plus and this is the first time that I am seeing it in the flesh in natural light which I'm so excited about this video is going to be all about the Watford Audi R8 V10 Plus in a natural light hearing it and going out for a drive so first things first we have come to the brand new Audi car park this is where all of the brand new Audis are which is fitting for the new R8 V10 Plus. Now, I saw this car in March in the flagship London Audi City store in red. I didn't particularly like the spec. However, this car is unbelievable. Just looking at it now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, turn the wheels like that. That will look awesome. Check out how good that looks. The new R8. I personally love it and I think it is a vast improvement on the old R8. Obviously the first and original R8 was such a classic design and so futuristic you saw it in Iron Man 1, then you saw the R8 Spider in Iron Man 2 and then in Iron Man 3 we saw the R8 e-tron. This was in the latest Avengers, but out of all of the dealership cars that I've seen, I personally think this is the best spec one. The beautiful yellow, which is actually the same as this TTS here, is on the R8. The whole car has been completely redesigned and the chassis is actually shared with the Lamborghini Huracan. But I've heard from different people that have driven this car that not only is it quicker, it is also better than the Lamborghini Huracan. So this is 50 grand less and apparently you get a better car. I personally think this car looks better. The back of the Hurricane I'm a little bit iffy of, um, but the R8 just looks incredible. And everyone knows that I've got a soft spot for them. Let's jump inside and check out how cool the interior looks. So from start to finish, the new interior is brand new. We've got the gear select, proper chunky gear select, which I'm not gonna move because the car is running. We've got the steering wheel, which has got all of these different buttons on, and I've always wanted to press this button. Oh, I don't know whether you heard that, but this is the exhaust button. So you can play around with the exhaust valves straight from the factory as stock cars go. This car sounds incredible. It crackles on the overrun just like the Lamborghini Huracan which is engineered into the exhaust system to dump some fuel through. Similar to Sam from Seen Through Glass's Jaguar F-Type. My car crackles but that's got nothing to do with it being manufactured. I think it just crackles in general. But here you can see Sanj here who is um, a good friend of mine and also sold me the Nuke. So everyone shout out to Sanj for selling me the Nuke. This car has got a virtual cockpit which isn't really in display at the moment because it has got the reversing camera on. I'm just gonna zoom into Sanj taking a picture. He loves getting those low angles, but the interior of this car is really, really well put together. Much better than the R8 and a much, much more improved design. There isn't really a center console as such like there was both in my current car and in the R8. You've got this big gap here, a storage space down there which might be an optional extra. And then we've got all of these cool little flat buttons here. This is how you do the entertainment system which comes up here with the speedo but you also have a really cool sat nav little feature. Apparently when they were doing the press runs this car did 0-60 to in 2.8 seconds which is mind blowing. The spec of this car is really really nice. We've got carbon everywhere not only in the interior this is carbon here we've got carbon there and all around the car we've also got the carbon wing mirrors we've got carbon bits there there are the carbon wing mirrors and a whole load of carbon in the back which I'm going to show you. Also the carbon rear diffuser is super cool. Let's have a quick one more look around and then let's go for a drive. And go through all of the carbon bits. There's carbon. There's carbon. There's carbon. There's me. Here's carbon. There's the exhaust. This is all in carbon. Oh, look at all of the, you can see so much.
Right, we've got an annoying beep going. What I'm gonna do is just put the seatbelt on, even though Sanj is running in to get tray plates on the car. Yes. Now, I don't particularly want to ramble on about the statistics of this car because I think there are many people out there on YouTube that do it a lot better than me. And I don't claim to be an expert in cars. I just love the look of them. I love the sound of them. And I also love the speed of them. So what we're going to do now, this is the first time not only I've been out in an R8 V10 Plus, the new one, this is the first time that Sanj has driven one. So this is going to be a lot of fun. We are losing light very, very quickly. So hopefully I can get some driving shots of me in the car, feeling the acceleration for the first time, but then also some passing shots. So I'm gonna jump out and try and get a perspective of what this car looks like on the road because this car is wider and lower than the original R8. So um, I think it is time that Sanj gets trade plates. Excellent. Squeezed out pretty quickly. This is the first time that I'm pretty sure all of these cars driving around have seen the new R8 on the road for the first time. And I can't wait to see it and catch it driving. It's got that really, really sharp gearbox. Double clutch. And you get the little crackles as well. You can talk, by the way, everyone. This is Sanj. Hey. Sanj sold me the R8. No, 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 not no, the, no, the A1. The A1. The A1. <laughs> came in to buy an R8 and bought an A1. Yeah, came in to buy an R8 and bought an A1. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be doing his best to try and get me into one of these as well. I'm not done with a Lamborghini just yet. <laughs> <laughs> Cool view with the carbon fiber spoiler only available on the R8 V10 Plus. There is the R8 V10 option available, which is is it 10 grand less? Oh, 10, yeah, 10, yeah. 10, 10, 15 grand less than this car. And this obviously comes with a little bit more brake horsepower and more standard options that are optional extras on the V10. We've got some traffic to deal with on the way back. This is a really, really nice place to be. The seats are really comfy. I don't know whether anyone can see me, but the seats are really comfy. Quite sort of spongy and forgiving on the body, unlike the Lamborghini after 14 hours of it, driving back from Monaco to London. My bum got numb. Yeah, it's nice. Really, really cool inside. Yeah, a nice sound. The exhausts are on, right? The yeah, exhausts yeah, are right. in sport mode, and we're in dynamic, so this is the most hardcore mode that we can get in this car. <laughs> I bet that was like, what, 70% throttle, yeah. not even that. <laughs> yeah, <it's 100%>. Woo! <laughs> that is quick. That is really, really quick. Here we got the underpass where I took my Army Tricks Lambo for the first time and we're coming here in the new R8 V10 Plus for some sound. <laughs> oh, it does sound good. And I bet it looks good on the road as well. It's so annoying that I can't see what it looks like on the road. We're in traffic, so I'm gonna see what it looks like now. We've got traffic all the way down there. I'll just walk with the car. So I'm walking with the car now because we've got a bit of traffic. <laughs> I need to run. Hey, well, this was a fail. I've jumped out of the car to try and get some exterior shots of it. And then all of the traffic starts moving. So I've been ditched. Well, that was a fail. <laughs> I just got stranded. Whoa. I want to see what this car looks like on the road. So I've jumped out and Sanj is going to demonstrate just driving up and down. But I've got to be careful not to walk into that post. That looks a lot better on the road. 
than the old R8. Just the new headlights, always coming back. The new headlights make such a big difference. Oh, those crackles sound insane. They sound very similar to the Hurricane. That car sounds very similar to the Hurricane. It's slightly mu more muted, but of course, Audi can't make a car that's louder than Lamborghini because otherwise Lamborghini would get upset. But as Audis go, that is by far the coolest one ever. I generally thought that was them. Here they are, here they are. Oh my god. In there, in there, in there. In there. <laughs>